Welcome tonight. We are going to be making pork schnitzel with Carry It Through with Keto. And I'm Carrie. So, we want to know about pork. So, the best thing to use is center cut pork. Uh, you can actually buy at the grocery store. I saw some very thin sliced pork chops, but they were like double the price of just a, a plain center cut pork chop. So if you want to save some money, you can do it this way and I'll show you how to pound it thin. So we're going to take this last pork chop. I've already done some up. Put it between two pieces of plastic like so. And then it's the fun part. Take your flat head on your meat tenderizer and pound the heck out of it. You know what if you don't have a meat tenderizer? Use a hammer. <laughs> you can use anything that's flat and it's got some weight to it. But I want to use like a glass cup. No. Why not? Might break the glass cup. Oh. No, you didn't pull it tight. Was there a reason for that? So you can expand. You want this to be about an eighth, a fourth to an eighth inch thick. You want it to be very thin. Okay. Then we're going to take this thinly smushed pork chop. We're going to take it and put it in an egg bath. Now this is just one egg with about a, teeth, a tablespoon of heavy whipping cream. Okay. You just whip it together with a little fork or yep. something? Whip it together with a fork. Make a little batter. And then we're going to dip it into pork rinds and Parmesan cheese. And I'll show you just a minute how we did the pork rinds. So you take it and you want it coated pretty good. So I'm at the last of my breadcrumbs here. So I'm gonna just kind of pat it on there, on the back side. Shake it off a little bit, and then put it in your pan. Now you're gonna to wanna to put this on top of a rack. Uh, we're baking this instead of frying it, so it'll save you some carbs there. We're baking it. And I'm going to put this in the oven at 425 for 25 minutes. Now, I've all, I sprayed my rack before we started with some olive oil. So I sprayed it lightly with that so it would not stick, okay? And now we're going to put this into the oven at 425 for 25 minutes. Okay, I had told you earlier about how do you make breadcrumbs out of pork rinds. You get a bag of pork rinds. Now these are just plain old, plain Jane pork rinds, but you need to look on the back and you need to make sure that what the ingredients are, this is fried pork skins and salt, and that's all you want in it. You don't want any other thing but this. So you get the plain pork skins, you open them up, you get yourself a baggie, and put some in like so. I'm just going to do a few here. Seal it back up. Make sure you've got most of the air out. And then you're going to take your handy dandy rolling pin when you're not using it against your husband and you're going to roll it out. Just like so. bang that right just roll no, it no just roll them till you feel like you've got most of it you might turn it over too and switch this around okie dokie now here's my bear crumbs and as you see you get wonderful little bread crumbs The measurements for this will be in the blog. Okay. Okay, now we've got our pork schnitzel in the oven cooking, and while that's cooking, you can go ahead and make a gravy with this. Now, it's not necessary. You don't have to if you don't like gravy. You could end it after the pork comes out. You can eat it just like that. But I'm a gravy kind of girl, I like gravy. So we're gonna make a mushroom gravy to go with this. The first thing you're going to do is you're going to get your bacon. Now this is three slices 
of bacon and it's been chopped up fine so it'll make little bacon crisps. So you're gonna put this in your pan. Now how high is your heat? I'm sorry. How high is your heat? It's at a medium. Okay. And you're gonna cook that till it's done. It should take about three to five minutes. I wish y'all were here. It smells wonderful. I love bacon. I don't know about y'all. I love bacon. shallot and an onion? They're baby onions. No, they're a milder flavor than an onion has. Mm. And then my garlic. Incredible. <sighs> very aromatic. What is it? Aromatic? Yes, very aromatic. Butter's just about melted, and I'm going to add, and this is about a half of, this is eight ounces. I had to think it for a minute. Eight ounces of mushrooms. Half a pound. So just sliced mushrooms. Any type of, particular type of mushroom? Now, I'm they say, to, I've, I've read several, it says use any mushrooms that you want, and uh, so if, whatever you have on hand. And you're going to cook these till they're done. How do you know they're done? Because they change color and they, they're kind of a brownish they're already color. Kind of brown to me. Once your mushrooms are through cooking, we're going to let me clear some of this away. We're going to take the rest of these items, which this is uh, cooking sherry. I don't really drink wine, so I'm going to use cooking okay. sherry. And then we've got parsley. We've got Dijon mustard, Worcestershire sauce. We've got smoked paprika, sea salt, pepper. We've got a fourth of a cup of sour cream and a half a cup of heavy cream and this is going to be the basis of our sauce. Now do you add any salt and pepper to this? In a minute. That's part of our sauce. My kitchen. Thank you. Ooh wee. That looks good. Okay. I think actually So, I guess what you're saying is I need to leave as much of the juice as I can in the pan? I would. Because that's what's going to be. your au jus that's in au there. Au jus. Au jus. Au jus. Hey, us Texans, we, we, we say all kinds of weird things. All them drippings? All them there drippings, yeah. Okay, oh, we got that drained. Okay. So, now, we're going to leave this wonderful stuff that's in the bottom of the pans. We're going to add a third of a cup of sherry. Sherry. We're going to add some sour cream. Ah, 
guys are going to smell good. Let's put our salt, pepper, paprika. Our parsley. Mr. Shire. Dijon mustard. And heavy whippy cream. All right. Now mix that all together. Put our bacon back in. And we're going to put our mushrooms back in. Okay, and our mushroom sauce is just about done. Okay, I bet those pork chops are just about ready to come out of the oven. Let's go look. Here they are. Don't they look yummy, yummy, yummy? Okay, it's time to plate up. I'm hoping you're hungry because I'm hungry. So let's take one of these pork chops off of here. Okay. Pork chop. We're going to add some of this wonderful smelling gravy and put that on top. Oh, that looks so good. For a vegetable, you can do anything from asparagus to broccoli. I've actually got some uh, riced cauliflower with little bits of asparagus and mushrooms in them. Take that. Put it on your plate. And there you have it. It's dinner time. Okay, let's see what this little puppy looks like here. And it's fork tender, as you saw. I cut it with a fork. Man, that is some kind of good. Oh, two thumbs up. See you next time with cooking. <laughs> Carrying it through with keto, and we'll do a, I think next time we'll do a dessert, so stay tuned.